Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to properly clean out your brass instruments so that they can be stored and turned back into the school properly and not harmed and also clean so when I pick them up and lay them out they don't get germs on me. So there's two components that we got to clean. We got to clean them separately. First is the mouthpiece. That's what you guys will be, all of you will be doing at home. It's easy. The second part that I'll show you that some of you might be able to do but others just may not be able to. It's a bit more complex and time consuming but I'll show you anyhow because if you have the materials and you have the means, go for it. So the first thing I need to talk to you is about what is hot water and what is warm water. When cleaning your instrument, you want to use warm water. You do not want to use hot water. Hot water is the type of water that will scald you in the bathtub. If you put a baby in it, it will scald them. If you're washing dishes and you put your hands in hot water, it hurts. Warm water is when you put your hands into it, it makes you want to keep your hands in it. It's nice and warm. If it's a bathtub, you might actually say it's kind of cold. It's on the colder side. We call it baby warm or baby bath warm because it's a certain degree, it's body temperature, it's 98.6 degrees. So that's it should feel warm to you, not cold, but it, by no means hot. If it feels hot, your water's too hot and you can damage your mouthpiece or you can damage your instrument. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sink you're going to fill it up, or a cup, fill it up with some warm water, put a drop or two of soap in it if you're using a sink, maybe just a little bit more than a drop or two if you're using a cup, just a drop works. Stir it up a little bit so that it gets the bubbles, gets the soap mixed in, and you're just going to put your mouthpiece in and let it sit, let it soak, okay? Give it 10 minutes in there because the idea is we want that soap to really get into the inside and whatever stuck is on the inside we want it to loosen up. Then. After it sit for a while, take your mouthpiece and this can, or mouthpiece cleaner, and this can get wet too. You're gonna to take it in the water. You're gonna scrub the inside of your mouthpiece really good, okay? And then you can take your finger or a rag and you can wipe around the, the bowl of the mouthpiece, the cup, or the outside as well. But you really wanna get that inside out. You might be surprised what comes out after you soak that, especially if you've not done this all. So, that's how you clean then you take it out and let it dry um, air dry works best if you use a towel you're just getting bacteria on that towel onto the mouthpiece so just let it air dry and then put this back in the soap let it get all whatever off of it and then let that dry so that's your mouthpiece it is done at that point now let's talk about your instrument a little bit if you're gonna wash this instrument you have to be real careful Okay, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take a piece of paper and write one, two, three on it. And you have to take out your first valve, lay that on the one, take your second valve out, lay that on the two, take your third valve out, lay that on the three. Okay, then you need to take a good look at all your slides and know where they go because you're gonna take the slides out. Lay that down, okay? If you've got a trumpet, you might have a screw that keeps your slide from coming out on its own. Unscrew that, take that slide out. Then you take out your other slide. Trumpets have three slides for your three valves. Baritones, same thing, but you sometimes have more parts to the slide. Tubas have a couple. So now you've just got your bare bones instrument, just the brass. You can also take your caps off. I would strongly suggest doing this. You should not matter what's one, two, or three on your caps. But if you want, you just lay the first cap with your first valve, second cap with your second valve, and your third cap with the third valve. So now your instrument is all in its pieces. Once you do that, you're gonna take your main instrument and put it in that soapy water. Let it soak for 10 minutes, okay? Then you're gonna, while it's underwater, you're gonna push water through it. You wanna make sure water gets all the way inside the instrument, okay? Then, if you've got a bottle brush or your mouthpiece brush, you brush each component of the slide. That's gonna get most of your stuff out, okay? Do your, your slides. And I actually forgot a slide. You have a little tiny one right there. I'm gonna see if I can get this one out. Yep, comes right out. So you're gonna pull that slide out and just slide very carefully this little part. Okay. If your slides don't move, don't take them out, but you can still submerge your instrument. It's just going to be harder to get that water through. Okay. You might need to, if you've got a hose or something, direct some water through there. The professional cleaners use what's called a snake, an instrument snake, where they, after it's in there, they can shove the snake through all the tubes and it turns with it, kind of like a plumber snake, but I do not want you to use a plumber snake 
on this, okay? So if you've got one in your house, don't use it. But just by soaking it and then pushing water through it will get a lot of stuff out. You Again, you might be surprised what comes out. Make sure you clean that. You might take your brush, clean the insides real good too because a lot of stuff, a lot of the oils will build up in there. Now, this soaks, you're good. You're gonna take these, your slides, and you're gonna put them and let them soak as well. And after 10 minutes, you're gonna clean out, okay? And you're gonna wanna take a rag and really wipe the grease and the gunk off these slides. Slides that get stuck, it's because this stuff never comes off. People don't clean it, it gets sticky, and it ends up sticking, and if it leaves forever, it can actually really lock those slides up and you can't get them off. So you're gonna soak these, and you're gonna wipe down the outside, you're gonna wipe off the all the gunk off of the uh, actual slides. Again, you're not gonna hurt anything as long as you're using warm water and regular old soap, dish soap. Now, your valves have cloth right there. See, I'm moving around the finger. Don't get that wet. But you're gonna to wanna to dip your valve in, soapy water, wipe it down. It should be pretty oily because you have valve oil on your instrument and wipe it all off. Do it for all three of your valves, but make sure when you're done, you put them back on your little piece of paper that says valve one, valve two, valve three, or not, you're gonna mix them up when you put them away. Now, the next step is what's gonna keep a lot of you from doing this. So don't do this if you don't have the proper materials. Okay, don't clean your instrument, the whole instrument, if you don't have those materials. You must have valve oil, because when your instrument's dry, your slides are dry, your valves are dry, you need to put valve oil back on those valves. If you don't have valve oil, don't clean your instrument, okay? Don't go out and use car oil, don't use WD-40, don't use any other type of lubricant or oil, because you can have chemicals in there that will break down the metal and damage it, okay? It also might have chemicals you don't want to put in your body. So, you're gonna put oil on your valves, put them back in. So, the next step, and your caps after they're clean, you can put them back into. The next step, you can use household Vaseline. They do make professional um, tuning slide grease, but if you don't have that, because you, you shouldn't have it, because I didn't give it to you, um, Vaseline works just fine. So I'm gonna show you what to do with that. I'm gonna just put these valves in. There's no oil on these, as you can see, so they don't slide very well, some of them do. So, you're gonna take regular household Vaseline, not the type you put on your lips, not the little chip chapstick type, just the, the tub of it. Your parents probably have it, if not, you could go and get it from any store, okay? But you put a little dab on each of the slides that move, okay? They're like on this third valve, you got one there, and then actually on the instrument, you have a part right there. You're gonna, because these are gonna be dry. They're not gonna slide very easily. You need to put that Vaseline on there. And that's gonna allow that to stay loose so it doesn't lock up on you, but also it allows you to move it when you need to. So on your second valve or whatever valve you have, you just put that on there, rub it around. Now you can do this. Take it, put it on a little bit, and then take your, your slide and just twist it a little bit so it can spread all the way around and get it all good and easy on your instrument, okay? So that's the next step. Now, the next portion, and I need to walk around because my lights will go out if I don't. So the next portion is your main slide. This one you're gonna wanna really, this is the one you move the most, so you're gonna wanna get it good and, and slide and easy to free. So you're gonna put it on there and then you're gonna do that same thing I just showed you where you spin it around so you make sure that oil or the grease is all on parts of that slide, okay? So once you do that, and you put all your slides back in properly with hopefully without bending anything or damaging anything, your instrument is basically professionally cleaned. The only difference that professionals do is they soak your instrument in what's called an ultras ultrasonic cleaner which sends ultrasonic sound waves and really dissolves and breaks down anything stuck on the inside of your instrument. So when I talk about all the instruments going for a cleaning over the summer, that's what they do. But they grease and lube your slides and put oil on your slides and everything as well. So that is what you're gonna do. If you have Vaseline and valve oil. If you don't have Vaseline and valve oil, don't do it. I'm gonna be doing it or I'm gonna be sending them to the cleaner and the cleaner will do it, or the, the professional cleaners, okay? But if you do it yourself, that's gonna protect that instrument 
very, and it's going to protect me when I get these instruments back and they have to sit out. Okay. Now, again, don't do this if you don't have those materials or you're not comfortable doing it. Just because you have a parent who maybe works on machines or you have a parent who works with metalworking or you have a parent who's just good and handy or crafty, if they don't have those materials, don't do it, okay? Because I don't want them using something they used for their profession, some oil, some grease they use, or like lawnmower grease or something you put in your tires. Don't do that because it, it, these instruments are, are picky and they're finicky and some type of other type of grease might damage it. So just don't do that, okay? I'm not requiring you to do this portion of it. I do want you to do the mouthpiece cleaning though because that's something everybody can do. Um, so just know that, okay? If you have any questions about what you're doing or if you questions if something's gonna harm something or if you do have a material you think would work, something similar to Vaseline, uh, shoot me a call at 419-996-3123 or email me and let me know, hey, my dad has this or my mom has this. Uh, can I use this? My mom has WD-40. Can I use this on my valves? And I will respond back and say, no. There's a component in WD-40 that breaks down the valves and the, the lining of the valve. Uh, it, it's almost too good. While it is safe to, in, to ingest, WD-40 is safe to ingest, it is not something you want to put on that instrument. So do not do that or any other type of lubricant. My son wanted to use bike chain oil. Um, I've heard of parents using gun oil because they own hunting guns or things like that and they've got the, un the guns. And while I've heard that gun oil is okay, I don't know that. I've not researched it myself, so don't use it. Alrighty, if you have any questions, give me a call. Bye-bye.